South Lake is one of my favorite cities for some really good reasons. I've been all over in Texas and let me say South Lake is one of my top favorite cities. In this video, I'm going to share with you everything I think about South Lake, Texas, the neighborhoods, the population, the things to do, the shopping, the housing. So this is my everything South Lake video. South Lake's website says the city balances sophisticated living with a neighborly community. The perfect oasis from the frenzy of Dallas Fort Worth. So what are my thoughts on that? I do think it's a sophisticated city, uh, balancing community. I would say balancing family. Uh, it is considered a luxury city. It's very difficult to find any home under $650,000. Uh, the median home price is about 1.2 million. It had peaked at 1.4, with again, homes ranging anywhere from seven, dollars $800,000 on up to 24 million. And so it's definite, there's definitely sophistication. Maybe the locals may day on it because they think they're snooty. Guys, they're not snooty. They just have, I mean, there's a, medi a higher median income in South Lake. So, you're just gonna get those people that don't like that, okay? It's a great family-friendly community. Do I think it's so far away from the frenzy? I mean, South Lake is starting to get more busy. Uh, there, it's pretty much fully developed with just a handful of small, tiny communities going in, uh, but it gets pretty busy because the neighboring cities like to come and shop and dine in South Lake Town Square. Uh, so it can get a little busy. Uh, not busy like LA busy, okay? <laughs> I would say away from the frenzy would be West Lake. So if you're looking like completely out of the frenzy, the neighboring city is right next door. It's West Lake, definitely away from the frenzy. So let's start with the population of about 32,000 people. I love it because it's a pretty small community, but large enough to get all of the conveniences that you need and want. Again, South Lake has the South Lake Town Square for shopping and dining to where um, there's enough population there, but it also attracts people from the neighboring cities. Um, I like that. I like a population of 32,000. Uh, Frisco, you know, 200,000. Plano, those are just such largely populated cities. It's harder to get involved in the community if that's what you enjoy. South Lake, it's very easy to get involved in the community. It's very easy to get involved in the schools. It's kind of almost expected. <laughs> um, we'll talk about schools here in a little bit too. The city is mostly in Tarrant County, but what I love about the location is uh, South Lake is surrounded by very nice cities. So we have West Lake, we have Keller, we have Grapevine, Colleyville. It's surrounded by really nice, well-kept cities, and I love that about it. And again, the average income is just over 299,000 for the household and home ownership is at about 94.5%, which really is mind blowing. So South Lake does not have, they don't have any apartments in South Lake. Now they do have a retirement community called Watermere. There's actually a couple of active adult communities and Watermere is very nice if you were looking for, and, and there's a wide range of housing at Watermere for the active adult community. Uh, definitely let us know if you're looking for that. We can hook you up. But without having apartments, and I mean, there are just few homes that are for lease. There are some condos, but really, almost everyone is a homeowner in South Lake. <laughs> I do love the location in that it's just 30 minutes from downtown Dallas, 30 minutes from downtown Fort Worth. It's 10 minutes from the airport, the International DFW Airport. So the location really can't get any better. And it opens you up for a wide range of jobs. So if you land in South Lake, you can go to Plano, you can go to Fort Worth, you can, there's so many areas that you can get a job at and the commute is not terrible if you have to commute. And if you like to travel for work or for pleasure, again, it's just easy access to the airport. You can get an Uber ride. You don't have to leave your car. Just super, super, super convenient. I personally spend a lot of time in South Lake 
we live down the street and my office is in South Lake, so I am a little bit partial to South Lake. And during the whole 2020, 2021, 2022 craze with real estate, it was like almost impossible to get a home here in South Lake. I mean, we were down to inventory of like 12 homes in the entire city and they were, you know, multiple offers. But I love that the inventory is opening up. It's not as competitive. We are still on our listings getting multiple offers. Um, they may not move as fast as last year, but I just like that housing is actually available now in South Lake. Oh yeah, if you didn't know, my name is Dana Pollard and I am a real estate agent in Texas. We sell all over the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. What we specialize in is helping you narrow down where to live for your family, what's right for you, the community that you lo are looking for in your hot buttons. Uh, we do office out of South Lake, but we sell all over Dallas, Fort Worth, as opposed to just one area. So if you're looking at buying a home, fill out the dream home questionnaire in the link below and get connected with your agent. You can schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom consultation. Again, we specialize in helping you narrow down where to live. When I think about South Lake, I think about a laid back luxury family feel. <laughs> I hope that helps describe South Lake. Laid back, luxury, family feel. So let's talk even more about the lifestyle. So I had already mentioned the South Lake Town Square. That is the hub of where the community gathers for events, Santa Claus, fireworks, any kind of community events. Uh, I just saw food trucks the other night there, y'all, and there's pl a plethora of dining in South Lake, but they had food trucks and a band set up on a Thursday night. So there's so many community events, and that's where people like to hang out. Uh, my kids, as teenagers, I dropped them off at the South Lake Town Square, and they could roam around by themselves, and I wasn't concerned for their safety. The Town Square has blocks and blocks full of shopping and eateries, Starbucks, it's just such a, a, a cute, I, I don't want to say quaint. Um, it's definitely modern, but not like modern style. And then all surrounding the town square, all up and down South Lake Boulevard, you're going to find many, many other shopping opportunities and dining opportunities. There's a Nordstrom Rack. Um, there's Market Street, which is my favorite grocery store to buy fresh fruits and vegetables. <laughs> There's Orange Theory. There are workout places. So South Lake has so many things to offer. There's REI, Sur La Table, many uh, furniture stores to fill your new home. <laughs> and fine dining, casual dining, steakhouses, Mexican food, Italian, you name it, it's here. My husband and I, we love Brio Italian. It's a very quaint atmosphere. People love to hang out. We host our, our team parties there. It's a cute little courtyard and, and very sweet atmosphere at Christmas time as well. South Lake is perfect for date night. You can go to Evo, which has bowling, video games, laser tag. Um, if you wanna play laser tag with your spouse, <laughs> or you could take your teens or kids there, that's fine too. Um, there's several craft cocktail bars, craft beer, and movies. Things to do, there's also a trampoline park for the kids, bumper cars, rock climbing, an escape room. I mean, seriously, there's so much to do in South Lake. Now, South Lake doesn't have a lake in, like, by the city, but Grapevine, which is right next door to South Lake, there's Grapevine Lake, so if you love lake life, then you can rent a, well, I like to rent a boat or have a friend with a boat. <laughs> We've had a boat and sold it. I <laughs> don't, don't like the upkeep of a boat, uh, but you can park your boat you know, in a slip on Grapevine Lake. It's not very far away. Now listen, up and coming in South Lake is Carillon Park. There's going to be more shopping, more things to do, and it's gonna be very upscale. So I'm super excited about Carillon Park. It's gonna be right next to the neighborhood, Carillon, which is a beautiful master planned community. Love it so much. But Carillon Park will include three mixed use buildings ranging from four stories to eight stories to single story restaurant site. There's gonna be office buildings 
and a three-story city library and entertainment center. It's gonna include a 4.5 million water feature that will be synchronized with music and lights. I think a Las Vegas. <laughs> Only there will be no gambling in South Lake, Texas. It's gonna be like a European style village uh, groundbreaking should occur in the next couple of months. Oh, and I forgot to mention there's a Trader Joe's. I said Market Street, but I always get Market Street and Central Market confused. Central Market is in South Lake, the one I go to. Market Street is in Colleyville, which is really nice too, one of my favorites. If it were a little closer to me, I'd go there as well. Uh, but Market Street's in Colleyville, which is a city south of South Lake. Also, South Lake has the Mega Church Gateway with Pastor Robert Morris. So if you love Robert Morris, if you love Gateway, it's right there. Their headquarters is in South Lake, Texas. That's where they started. Great church. It is a mega church. There's also many other great worship centers in the area as well. Now, if we want to talk about the outdoors in South Lake, uh, Bicentennial Park is my favorite park to take the kids. The reason I love it so much, my kids are older now, but when they were little, it's enclosed. There's one way in, one way out. And so I love meeting my friends, my mom friends at the park with our kids, let them play, run around, not worried if they're going to escape. Uh, <laughs> and so that was just such a wonderful park to hang out with uh, my friends and with our kids. There's also baseball, basketball, fishing, tennis courts, trails, and even a historic cabin on site. And it has plenty of parking with well-maintained lots and shade trees. Also in South Lake, there is Timuron Country Club and the neighborhood of Timuron, which surrounds, you know, the golf course. And it's thought of as one of the best in DFW designed by legendary golfer Byron Nelson. Also, I just briefly mentioned the Grapevine Lake, which is north of South Lake with marinas, cabins, capping, and even horseback riding. You can go kayaking. We, we took our kayaks down the Marshall Creek and into Grapevine Lake. That's fun to do. And yes, you can take your horse there. Now, the area around South Lake is part of the Cross Timbers Oak Forest and Woodland area. And what that means is there are a lot of trees in this area, which is why South Lake is one of my favorite treed cities in North Texas, is because you can find um, these, not patches, but areas of beautiful tall trees in South Lake. Many of these homes will sit on half acre, one acre home sites. And so you can get a beautiful landscaped home uh, yard <laughs> with some gorgeous trees. Also for outdoor entertainment, the Bob Jones Nature Center is another great place to explore. The Nature Center, it's surrounded by more than 700 acres of cross timbers habitat with more than 20 miles of hiking trails. And the center encourages visitors to look for creatures in their natural habitats and enjoy the world around them. So even though South Lake is a smaller city, there is so much to do here. So is South Lake right for you? Let's take a look at the housing market. The city exploded in the 90s and the early 2000s, and so you, will, you won't find as many new homes, and there's very little new home construction going on. There are a few small neighborhoods of luxury custom homes, but other than that, it's pretty much built out. Again, the median home price is 1.2 million. Uh, that is down from 1.4 million and it can it i'm not sure how this spring is gonna go it could go down just a little bit but i can't see it just significantly tanking because i think south lake is on the radar of so many people all over the country especially for luxury homes because south lake while texans may view south lake as expensive but people from expensive areas consider south lake inexpensive for a luxury home for what you can get. It's all relative, people. <laughs> what I'm noticing in the housing market, specifically in South Lake, it's also similar in Frisco and some of the hot areas in Texas, is that homes are sitting on the market an average of 52 days, but the reason there are homes sitting on the market for 52 days is that people, sellers, are still wanting to get what they could have 
at the peak of the market. So the peak of the market in South Lake was in May of 2022. And again, the median home price was 1.4 million. Well, it's gone down a good 10, 15% from the peak. And so when sellers are going to list their home, they're like, well, my neighbor sold at 1.4. I should be able to sell at 1.4. But what's happening is the market has pulled back which means they're not getting 1.4, they may get 1.2, 1.3, and so they're listed 100 or $200,000 over market and they're sitting there. Now, when you have sellers that price their home properly and the listing agent who markets and stages it and gets it ready properly, those homes sell very quick and they can still get multiple offers. So talk with your agent because if you're going house shopping, you need to kind of know, have them run the comps for you so you can know with confidence about where the home should be priced at. Uh, so these houses that are listed over one, two, three hundred thousand dollars what they should be. They're just sitting there. Most neighborhoods in South Lake do have HOAs. Now you can love or hate them. <laughs> if you love them, that means that everyone's taking care of their lawns and you know they can get picky on that, but the purpose is to keep it up. There are some neighborhoods outside of the master plan communities where like on Dove Road or White Chapel, um, that are on one, two, five acres, and there's no HOA there. These are the very nice luxury homes. They can be six, 10, $15 million, and they're beautiful. And then you can do whatever you want because they're not in an HOA. I know many of you may be concerned about flooding in Texas, but South Lake, very low risk of flooding. Less than 3% of housing are in a flood zone. Again, check with your agent. They can make sure that uh, any home that you put an offer in is outside of a flood zone, but again, like 3%. For the cost of living, uh, you can take a look at what you can get for bread, milk, eggs, gas. It's pretty typical for most of Dallas-Fort Worth. As for utilities, Texans are free to choose whatever utility company they want to be a part of. There's a couple of co-ops that you have to be a part of for an electric company, but most of the time you can choose your own electric provider and they all have different rates and different plans. And natural gas is provided by Atmos Energy. Water and trash services are provided by the city and you can go on their website to check their rates. Let's talk about schools. <laughs> Carroll ISD, which is within South Lake and West Lake and a little bit of Keller, um, I think even a little bit of Grapevine. Carroll ISD is the number one rated school for test scores in all of Texas. And so it's drawing a lot of people to the city because they want the school district. It is a great school district. Uh, I would say it is competitive in the school district. <laughs> Keep that in mind. In fact, we had a family move here and they were like, Dana, it is competitive. Like. My child tried out for the volleyball team and like, it's just so competitive unless you are uh, working on a sport or an activity from childhood, it's kind of hard to get into those, um, those areas unless your kid is gifted in it. Now, um, academics are very high. So many people want to be in Carroll ISD because of the high academics, the high graduation rate and the high college acceptance rate. Okay. So all of those things are wonderful. We do have agents on our team that live in South Lake and are specialists in South Lake. And if you want to know the inside scoop, cause their kids go to the schools, then fill out the dream home questionnaire and we'll get you routed to those agents who live here in South Lake. Another cool thing about Carroll ISD is that they have their own aquatic center. They have diving, water polo. It's pretty cool, y'all. And if you're looking for private schools, uh, there's Clarendon, which is like a one to eight ratio, student to teacher ratio. Uh, you also have a private school in Colleyville, which is down the street. And uh, there are a handful of people who take them up to Argyle uh, for private school there, but 
there's definitely some options. There's also homeschoolers in South Lake. So, I mean, when it comes to school, you have an array of choices. As for colleges, there's the King's University, which is a Christian ministry-based college. It's, you know, made by Gateway Church, uh, but that is a university here in the area. And then, of course, you know, maybe you'll have students that go to University of North Texas, which is less than 30 minutes away in Denton, um, or, or SMU is about 30 minutes away, as well as TCU. And so there are many school choices nearby. Let's talk about work for South Lake. Again, this location is very centralized to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex making an easy commute. The largest employer is Sabri. It's a software and technological company that powers the global travel industry, employing about 3,500 people, as well as the Carroll ISD is a large employer in Southlake, and then Keller Williams Southlake, which is where I work. <laughs> we have about 650 agents in our office. Let's talk about the traffic in South Lake. Now, starting with the walkability factor, South Lake only gets a 15. Basically, you need a car if you're gonna live in South Lake. Um, yeah, you need a car. The traffic in South Lake is not too bad. Now, it can get busy at rush hour on South Lake Boulevard, uh, but not too terribly busy. Um, there's six lanes in South Lake on South Lake Boulevard, and then Highway 114 is north of it. It can get a little bit backed up, but it's really not that bad. Traffic in South Lake's not that bad. Now, what you do get in South Lake is a bunch of traffic lights. <laughs> There's a lot of stoplights in South Lake. Um, but again, the traffic factor is just not a big deal. If you live in South Lake and you want to go to the town square, it's probably five minutes from your house. Pretty convenient. So is South Lake for your family? Put it in the comments below what you think about South Lake, Texas. If you Google South Lake, you're gonna find some negative things, just like many cities. I feel like South Lake is a target for media because it is known as a prestigious city. So they do get attacked. I'm not saying that bad things don't happen in South Lake. I'm just saying that bad things happen everywhere, but South Lake gets national attention all the time. <laughs> So, um, but is South Lake for your family? Let me know.